Oh, why, hello there, my favorite people, my viewers. You might be wondering where I've been gone, and I've just been recovering from weekly uploads. I have a question for you, though. What would you say if someone asked you, what is your favorite character pairing from Thomas and Friends? You might say the obvious ones, like Diesel and Duck, Daisy and Ryan, and the best ones, of course, Charlie and Staff. But for me, my favorite has to be Percy and Harold. This was such a fun rivalry in the show that made me want to look back at this and see how it evolved and how it eventually concluded. In Percy the Small Engine, the book is famously known for introducing Duck and being the last book illustrated by original Dobby. This book also introduced Harold. You want to know the thing that started this mostly one-sided beef between these two? It was Harold being too noisy. Percy dislikes this guy immediately because he was too loud. Hey, be quiet! Dude, be quiet! Be very quiet! Shut up! As someone who lives near an airport, though, I can relate. The amount of times I've been recording audio and had to stop because I could hear a low flying plane going, Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
alongside him before Percy sees it. But in terms of seasons, she had to wait years before you even knew what story Percy was bragging about. In season three, Percy and the Post Train, it brings back this beef. After Percy delivers the post, he enjoys being alone in this early morning. Then Harold drops down and says, I always said railways were out of date, but you're so slow with the post, you should give everyone their stamps back. And then he flies off. He then drops by next night to tell them that he's heard news that they're going to scrap the post train and use him instead. Then he just flies away again. He's an absolute legend. I love this guy. But then karma gets him. The wind is too strong and he has to stay grounded. Harold was actually added into the story by the TV show. In the magazines, he wasn't even in it. I think him being here was a great addition. It adds a lot more to this episode in terms of what will happen to the post train if they're not on time. I honestly think it was a great addition. The rest of the season explores Harold's interactions with other characters. He's still someone Percy knows, but we get to see Thomas dislikes him. And Duck at first finds him annoying, but when he tells him about the sea and helps Harold take a man to the hospital, Harold sends down a flag from the regatta to give to Duck. So Duck ends up liking him. And I like to think after this interaction, Harold is starting to value the engine some more. I think season three did a pretty good job with Harold, but for the next few seasons, we didn't get much with him. Harold was too busy patrolling and being Topham's helicopter. Harold also had a nice interaction with Rusty, but that wasn't taken anywhere after that episode. They had potential to do more with Percy and Harold and Thomas and the Rumors. Percy is the one to tell the engines a visitor is touring the island in Harold instead of the engines. They think they'll get replaced by Harold, but Percy sees him counting sheep, so there goes that. It was interesting to see the other characters dislike Harold for a while. I found Percy being the one to find out Harold wasn't going to replace them missed potential. It would make sense for James to see Harold and then Percy and then the others to not believe James. That even actually happens in the magazine, except it's Percy, James, and Gordon who all find out. I guess Percy did have some reason to like Harold this season. He did help save Toby's life, so maybe that's why they wanted Percy to be the one to find this out first? Season 6 brought us a great Percy and Harold story. One night, Harold is delivering the mail instead of Percy. It makes him upset, but Harold is all like, Hey, dude, I'm just doing you a favor. But since they're freaking history, of course Percy isn't happy about it. When Percy's taking the mail in the day, a signal breaks down and they have to call Harold to go get the mail. Then Harold decides to take all the mail to prove he's not as slow as Percy, which ends up with him crashing into some hay. Percy goes as fast as he can to save Harold, and later that day, Harold flies really low to Percy and thanks him for helping him out. And Percy says, that's what friends are for. Wait, why hasn't the video ended? This is sort of the end to it. I say sort of the end to it because they pretty much stopped doing any sort of Percy and Harold episode after season six, but I feel like you still get the feeling that they don't really like each other. They might be on good terms now, but there's still some unresolved issues. Like in the next episode with Percy's Chocolate Crunch, we get to see Percy get upset about Harold unintentionally making him even dirtier. In season seven, they're kind to each other, and that's it for the classic series. But after season seven, these characters are just not the same ones we saw in the classic series. In season six, Percy's just this nice scared engine that the classic series Percy would have definitely made fun of. And while Percy wasn't awful in season six or even season seven, it is where I started to notice the change in his character. For Harold, his whole personality became being the rescue helicopter who patrols a lot. The only time I remember seeing him save people was in Misty Island, and that movie just made it worse for him, because now he has to be associated with the search and rescue center being this huge thing that's super important, and now he's a super important character and he can never go back to just being a casual helicopter. Now I haven't watched every episode of the hit seasons because I don't want to do that to myself, but at the same time, I'm also working on watching every single episode. But from what I've seen, their rivalry is really never brought up again. But in season 20, a good 14 seasons without this beef, we get letters to Santa. Surely this day can't get any worse. Hey, Percy! No! In this episode, Percy and Harold seem to have lost a lot of what I liked about this pairing. This time, Percy is the only one who dislikes Harold, and Harold is just nice to Percy the whole time, and not even slightly rude to him. We get a flashback to the events of Percy and Harold, which was really cool, but I think that they really should have had them both be rude to each other. Looking past this, I think this is a nice way to do it for the CGI versions of the characters. I like seeing Percy complain about Harold, and I love how Harold did everything he could to deliver the mail on time. The ending, I think, is also nice. Harold ran out of fuel, so Percy brings him some fuel, and they're both on good terms now. 
Now going from the classic series to the one good CGI episode makes this feel really bad in quality, but for having to wait so long for this ever to be used again was definitely worth the wait, even if it could have been better. I do think that they could have definitely explored this more if they had more seasons with the same writing team and they could have fleshed it out more, but I'm really appreciative that we even got this rivalry touched upon again. It was really nice seeing them take a classic sort of trope and putting their own spin on it. Even if I didn't like it terribly much, I'm still really glad we got it. Now could this rivalry have been better throughout the TV show? Yeah. Yeah, it really could have been. They basically drop it after season three, and then it's very loosely touched upon. We could have had a lot more explored with it, but honestly, I'm just glad we got it. I loved it, and originally I was gonna talk about the decline of it, but the decline is really just it stopping, because they never touch on it again. I really enjoyed this from the show, and I wish more characters got stuff like this that was just exclusive to them, just two characters that they didn't like. We kind of got that with Gordon Phillip. I thought that was pretty fun. But for other characters, none are really coming to mind. I want to give a quick shout out to Trenguy56 for making the thumbnail for this video. Thank you so much. Uh, go subscribe to him. He makes funny stuff. If you enjoy this video, um, subscribe please and turn notifications on. Because you guys got to watch more of my videos. Because um, if you don't, I'll cry. Also, I want to revive my channel so we can hopefully hit 10k soon. That would be awesome. Uh, that's it for me.